the bhagavad gita is a manual for life it teaches how to live a healthy and peaceful life the great quality about gita is that it explains all aspects of life physical and mental health family and relationship duty and performance emotional intelligence and courage as well as peace and non attachment duty and its performance without attachment is of prime importance in the bhagavad gita in the shlokas 13 and 14 of chapter 18 lord krishna describes the five factors of duty which are aimed to nullify attachment arjun he says i have explained to you the five factors of duty that is knowledge action or karma doer or performer wisdom and determination in detail now you can identify your duty and perform to the best of your ability thus spoke lord krishna here the performer is the person who carries out his duty the one who is a living being and keeps on taking some action or the other from moment to moment day after day throughout life action can be physical or mental now physical action do we we do with our organs physical organs and mental action of thinking we do with our mind the next is intention what motivates you what actually motivates you to perform your duty that intentions is very important now intentions depends on the various thoughts and the moment you focus your mind on what you are supposed to do and your priorities for the physical action senses that affect our performance are very important the organs the hands the legs the feet the mind the listening skills all these are extremely important because they affect our performance in spite of our intention sometimes we intend something to do but our performance faculties are not properly aligned therefore in spite of the fact that we want to perform well we are not able to do it next we come to the kinds of action now the kind of action will depend upon your job what work you are doing whether you are in business or in service and various other factors so the important thing is whatever kind of action you have you should be satisfied with it you should not think other person's action is better other person's duty is better so you have to really de- be devoted to your duty lastly but equally importantly is the effects of your previous actions your karma in your previous birth soul and bodies are two different entities soul is immortal it continues life is an unending series of manifestations of being that is the soul your actions good or bad are recorded in the same manner as credits and debits are recorded in the cash book at the end of life balance sheet is drawn and it is available for your next birth whatever balance you carry forward that is your capital now therefore if we think if we consider all these things then any moment we would not like to do something which we shouldn't something which is prohibited something which is against our mind and something which is against our soul we need to understand and assimilate these five factors for our duty if we do that life will be very peaceful and successful